Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our lecture is about introduction to parasitology. Introduction to parasitology we will discuss parasitology, definition of parasitology, definition of parasite, definition of host and types of parasite. Then we will discuss different types of host and host and parasite relationships and different factors that affects the host and parasites relationship so first of all we will talk about what is parasitology parasitology is the basically study of parasites study of parasites their host and the relationship between them then if you we'll talk about humans about 300 species of parasitic worms Humans are their host and 70 species of protozoan parasites humans are the host. Then in parasitology we are concerned for medical parasitology. In medical parasitology we will discuss with parasites that infect humans that cause disease in humans, the clinical picture and the responses generated by humans against them. I am repeating it that in medical parasitology we will discuss parasites that infect humans, the disease that caused by the different parasites, the clinical picture and the response generated by the humans when when parasite infects any human then how our immune system responded them okay then in parasitology in medical parasitology we are also concerned with the different methods of diagnosis for parasites different diagnostic methods of parasites then treatment about different diseases caused by the parasites and prevention and control of the different diseases or how we prevent the parasitic diseases. If we talk about history then first time Anton van Leeuwenhoek observed Giardia lamblia in their own stool in 1681. In 1681, Antivan Leeuwenhoek observed Giardia lamblia in his own stool samples. The first protozoan parasites discovered under a microscope. Then two main factors are involved in parasitology. Number one is parasite and number two is host. Then what is parasite? Parasite is any organism that live in or on the surface of the organism okay then there is different types of parasites for example plasmodium that causes malaria then there are four different types of plasmodium plasmodium falciparum plasmodium ovale plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ovale then other type of protozoan parasite is leishmania leishmania is unicellular organism which causes leishmaniasis. Then next, ant amoeba and giardia are also parasites that cause intestinal infections, for example dysentery and diarrhea. In this slide, we can see that different types of parasites are present that can infect humans. We can classify parasites on the basis of their location for example ectoparasite and endoparasite and on the basis of their relationship with the host. Relationship means for example sometimes parasites harms their host and sometimes parasite don't harm their host. Then we will classify on the basis of their relationship. Number one obligatory parasite. Obligatory parasites are the parasites that are fully dependent on host for their specific stages of completion of life cycle. 
I am repeating it that obligatory parasite is a parasite that is fully dependent on the host for the completion of their life cycle. For example, plasmodium that causes malaria. Then next, facultative parasite. Facultative parasites are those parasites that are not dependent entirely for their life cycle on host. Okay. They can live in the host body or they can live any other organism that is necessary for their survival. For example, Neglaria fowler. Number third is accidental parasite. Accidental parasites are those hosts that attacks the unusual host that are not their definitive host but for the survival, for the nutrition, that parasites can affect other host, then we can say that these are accidental parasites. For example, red tape worm is the popular example of accidental parasite. Then in this slide, we are discuss hosts and types of hosts. In previous slides, we have discussed different types of parasite, pa what is parasite, different types of parasite. Then in this slide, we will discuss host and types of host. What is host? Host is an organism that harbors the parasite, either mutualistic relationship or commensalist relationship and it provides shelter food and all the nourishment to the parasite then types of host number one definitive host definitive host is an organism in which the parasite reaches maturity and reproduce sexually definitive host which carries or we can say which carries sexual stages of the parasite and it is responsible for the completion of the parasitic life cycle. For example, mosquito act as definitive host in case of plasmodium. Then if you talk about intermediate host, number two is intermediate host. We can say definitive host is primary host and intermediate host is secondary host. Intermediate host is an organism that harbors the asexual stages of parasite and it often acts as a vector of the parasite to reach its definitive host. For example, in case of malarial parasite, man act as intermediate host in case of plasmodium. Okay? And mosquito is definitive host in case of plasmodium. So these are the popular example. If anyone asks what is definitive host, what is intermediate host, then you can say definitive host is the host that is required for the completion of the life cycle, parasitic life cycle. Intermediate host which act as a vector and which harbors the asexual stages of the parasite. For example, man act as intermediate host in case of plasmodium. Then number third is accidental host. What is accidental host? Parasite is transmitted accidentally. For example, a parasite has definitive host other than that host, an organism that generally does not allow transmission to the definitive host and many times accidental host is act as dead end host. For example, Echinococcus granulosis. And number four is razor wire host, an organism that harbors a parasite in absence of their host. We can say it is razor wire host. Then different types of relationships are present in life and same here in parasitology. Host parasite relationships are mutualism, parasitism and commensalism. If you talk about mutualism, 
in mutualism both parasites benefited in parasitism parasites benefited and host is harmed and in commensalism two host and parasites two organism lives together without harming each other i am repeating it in in mutualism both host and parasites are benefited in parasitism parasite is benefited and host is harmed and in commensalism they live together without harming each other then very important and what is life cycle of parasite life cycle is series of developmental stages starting from the egg till the maturation of parasite these are the developmental stages starting from the egg till the maturation of parasite then uh, we divide the life cycle into two major categories direct life cycle and indirect life cycle in direct life cycle parasite requires only single host for the completion of their life cycle for example ant amoeba histolytica requires only one host that is human and indirect life cycle parasite require more than one host for the completion of their life cycle for example malarial parasite in case of malarial parasite human act as intermediate host and mosquito act as definitive host or we can say human carries asexual stages of parasite and mosquito carries sexual stages of parasite so these are difference between them then we should know about factors that affects the host parasite relationship first of all we will discuss parasitic factors parasitic factors including strain of parasite which strain is affecting the host or which strain causing the disease number 2 is number of parasite if parasite is increase in number then pathogenesis will be higher and if parasite is lower in number then the pathogenesis will be lesser then size of parasite if parasite are large in size they can affect more sites in organ in body and if parasite is smaller in size they can uh, affect lesser sites in our body then life cycle life cycle is major factor in affecting the host parasite relationship because some parasites enters in our body through uh, our mouth they go through the stomach they enter in small intestine then they only affect the area of intestine and then excrete out from the body and on the other side some parasite enters in our body they invade the intestine they go through the lymphatic system and in the blood and it go towards the vital organs for example liver spleen bone marrow and lungs also so the life cycle is very important factor that affects host parasite relationship then metabolic processes metabolic processes of the parasite they release toxins they release different enzymes they release different toxic products that affects pathogenesis level then toxicity toxicity co related with metabolic process that any on any toxic product that released by the parasite that cause the increase in the pathogenesis then there are some host factor that also affects the host parasite relationship for example age if the age of the host is a uh, lesser than the 10 years old and uh, above the 50 years old children and aged persons are more prone to infection of the parasite as compared to adults so age plays important role in the parasite and host relationship immunity level of the host second thing is immunity level if someone is good immunity level good immune response 
then they can easily tackle the parasite and if someone has lesser immune responses low immunity then it is very difficult to handle the parasite in parasitic infection then next is coexisting disease if anyone has diabetes anyone has hiv anyone has any coexisting disease so the parasite can overcome on the host and cause more pathogenesis as compared to the absence of coexisting disease number 4 is lifestyle lifestyle if any host have a good lifestyle okay then there is lesser chances to infect by the parasite then number 5 is nutritional status nutritional status means the intake of food daily vitamins other nutrients if you have a good food then uh, you have good immunity and parasite don't cause any disease and if you have poor nutritional status then you are prone to parasitic infection so these are the different factors parasitic factor and host factor that affects host parasite relationship so these are the different definitions basic definitions of the parasitology so you should remember them thank you so much keep watching